Logistics and transportation are the greatest forces that drive the building of industries and infrastructure. Effective project logistics and transportation services today have therefore contributed immensely to the industrial and economic growth of Ghana and the West African sub-region. And John Moore International, a Ghanaian company, has been the number one. The leading transportation and project logistics, road haulage, and affiliated services provider, offering a comprehensive range of integrated services with efficiency, expertise, and precision that brings real value to its cherished customers. Jomo International was established in 1995, registered in 1995 and expanded in 1998. Uh, we initially registered as a transport service company and we've expanded to give transport and project logistics to the mining sector in Ghana in the West African sub-region. The company has grown from humble beginnings when we started with one 17-year-old truck to the fleets that we have today. The areas that we operate in, I would move heavy and abnormal loads and cargo. We move breakboard cargo, hazardous cargo. We offer passports and customs clearance. We have um, the single largest crawler crane in the country. Um, we do heavy lifts, out of which we have six cranes of various sizes operating in various mines and various project sites in Ghana and in the West African sub-region. It's all embodied in our vision and mission statement, whereas we want to be the preferred logistics partner for our clients. So that if we, we get an inquiry from a client, we go all out to really study the, the job at hand and then really sit down to plan and to strategize and to be able to come up with a plan that would meet the expectations of our clients and even exceed the expectations when we can. Some of the projects we have done in various sectors, um, for instance in the oil and gas sector, we supplied um, the largest heavy lift in the onshore heavy lift in the country, which is a 400 ton crane, and it was used for the construction of subsea jumpers in Secondine Base, which today presently are at the bottom of the seabed supplying oil to this country on, of the Jubilee field. Um, some other projects we did in that sector, we moved um, floating horses for one of the companies that is also connected to the FPSO for the production of oil in this country. We have um, worked on some moving some bore mill sections for mines. Uh, we did a bore mill section for the Chirano Gold Mine, the bore mill section for the Burkina Mining Company. We did bore mill sections for the Resolute Mine in Mali. And we did some work for some of the mines in, in Niger. These are very out of gauge cargo, which are some of them up to nine, ten, da, 10 meters diameter, which we have done. We did some very fragile transport. Also, we moved um, helicopters from the Accra airport for a company called Bristol, working in Takradi. Um, into, into the uh, Takradi airport. We also were commissioned to transport uh, the aircraft that overshot the runway in June last year. Um, it was a decommissioning project and we were involved in um, moving this delicate piece of equipment out of um, Accra airport for storage in Tema. <laughs> Done. We've moved uh, pressure vessels for the breweries. We've actually also been involved in some other delicate transport, like the transportation of uh, drinks for, for some of the breweries. Um, and, and we've also been involved in very sensitive lifting projects, where uh, it has one of them included also the salvage of some uh, sunken vessels at the Secondi Naval Base. We are able to do all this because of the specialized equipment we have, like our low loaders, 
both hydraulic and uh, normal spring low loaders. And we, we, uh, we train our personnel to be able to undertake these specialized movements. Yeah, our new acquisition is a seven axle um, trailer which also has a four axle tractor unit. Now this trailer has nine axles of steering which gives you um, ma good maneuverability in very small and tight areas. The steering is also remote controlled from the driver's cabin or outside the driver's cabin which makes um, turning circles very good in, um, with heavy loads. It can load up to 140 tons and at a maximum cruising speed of 30 kilometers per hour. This is the first of its type in Ghana and in the West African sub-region. And um, it's an additional equipment to our fleet. Convoys and fleets of vehicles in the transportation of these abnormal cargo requires requisite expertise to move from one point to the other. For safety and security, Every movement is strategically planned and executed to suit the specific cargo. Taking into consideration everything that is required to make sure that special cargo, no matter the size and weight, no matter how delicate or sensitive, no matter the distance or terrain, gets to the customer safe and sound. Jomo believes that no matter what we do, if we put safety first, we will become successful. And the job is such that we always have difficulties because most of the places we go to are remote areas, in the mines and stuff like that. And therefore we have to go through rough terrain to get there. And if we don't use the right equipment, we will end up, you know, throwing things away and, 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 and destroying things. John Moore International operates with satellite tracking systems in order to monitor the movement of cargo. Every vehicle in its fleet is fitted with satellite tracking devices operating on Inmarsat, Sky, Wave, GPS or GPRS. John Moore can update its clients on the minute-by-minute -minute movement of every piece of cargo. Continuous efficiency of John Moore International is driven by the continuous training and upgrading of expertise of all staff, particularly specialized drivers and operators of various vehicles, machinery and equipment. So our drivers go through periodic training and as I speak to you now, we are sending two tra uh, drivers to Holland because we are procuring an equipment which is, is, is special and therefore needs special training. So we are sending two drivers to Holland for training for 10 days on this uh, equipment. The convoy management is done by us because we have trained people who do this convoy management and then assisted by the police and then the uh, ECG. Sometimes we involve the telecom company because there are telecom cables that we need to take, take them off before we move. We have a safety plan and a safety concerns plan for every job we do, every project we do. Uh, we have a high safety standard and training policy here. The, everybody goes through an induction process, a pre-briefing of, of what you're supposed to do and what, what, what you are not supposed to do. And um, full use of personal protective clothing, full use of all safety devices that are uh, and, 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 uh, introduced into the company. On um, that also, we look at the strictness of our, our staff. We have a strict um, alcohol and drug policy and um, we have breathalyzers which we use to test our drivers at random for any levels of alcohol or other um, banned substances. Um, on the whole, we pride ourselves as building international reputation, international company, 
um, out of local resources, out of local local staff, and then giving the client uh, solutions to 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 the challenging problems in, in, in this industry. As part of our corporate social responsibility, John Moore International was contracted in 2012 to leave the wreckage of the Allied crash. We donated all the proceeds in terms of profit from that project to the victims of the air crash through the Ghana Civil Aviation. We also support a foundation called Robert Mitchell Foundation. They are into cancer awareness in children. Since in February 2013, we supported a working commercial with them. We also support a found, um, an orphanage in the Volta region called UJ Mode. Uh, we, on a month-to-month -month basis, supply them with food items and basic needs they need, and we're also helping them put up a building to support the orphans. In Jomo, our motto is exceeding expectations, and we therefore make sure we exceed the expectations of our clients at all times. If you're looking at transport and logistics solutions, either in the mining sector, in the construction sector, in the oil and gas sector, in the energy sector, you need to look at Jomo International. This is the team that has the expertise, that has the equipment, that has the technical know-how, and we give you the solutions. There is nowhere else you need to look. It's John Moore International. We are the solution people. John Moore International. Exceeding expectations.